Welcome to our physics review. Uh, in this lesson we'll be going over periodic motion, specifically the motion of a spring. The problem states a very light spring is attached vertically from a hook on the ceiling. When a 2 kilogram mass is hung on the spring, the spring stretches 0.5 meters at equilibrium. Uh, part A of the problem is what is the spring constant, which was denoted by the variable k, right here. And B, how far would a spring stretch if a 3 kilogram mass was hung from the spring? Okay, so the first thing we need to solve, we do have to solve part A first on this. We need to find out what K is. So to do that, uh, again, we're going to use this equation right here. It's the spring constant, K, is equal to the negative mass times gravity divided by the distance that the spring stretches. Okay, so let's try to get a picture of what this is saying. First of all, I will do my best to draw a spring on here. Okay. So imagine this spring being hung from the ceiling. And a mass is hung on that spring right here. And let's pretend that that spring was originally, or the top of the box was originally right here. And it stretched a distance. Okay. Now the mass of the box is two kilograms. And the distance that the spring stretched was 0.5 meters at equilibrium. Now let me remember. Let me remind you. Equilibrium means essentially whenever you hang a box on the spring, it's going to oscillate up and down for just a minute. Equilibrium is just saying that once it's done oscillating and it's totally standing still, it's, it's uh, at that point it's at equilibrium. So once it's at equilibrium, the top of the box was right here. Now the top of the box is here. Uh, that distance, in, and it's stated in the problem, is 0 0.5 meters. Now we're given everything we need to solve for the spring constant, so let's go ahead and do that. First of all, I want to note what we're going to be filling in all these variables with. Okay, so k is what we're looking for, the spring constant. Okay, that's a question mark, by the way, if you were wondering. Uh, the mass is given right here. This right here is the mass. And this x is given right here. So we'll give this one a little x right there. And, uh, oh, and by the way, gravity here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say gravity is 10. Typically, the, the value for gravity, I'll just put this over here for, uh, for notation. Uh, typically, gravity is 9.8, but for, this, for the ease of calculation, I'm going to say it's 10 meters per second squared. Okay. So, uh, using all this, let's go ahead and input into this equation to solve for k. So, uh, again, this is part A. Uh, k is equal to negative, uh, again, our mass is 2 kilograms, so 2. Uh, gravity we said was 10, so I'll put that in there. And then the distance that the sp spring stretched was 0 0.5. Okay, so uh, this comes out to a negative 20 divided by 0 0.5. Now, whenever you divide something by half, you're essentially saying what times 1 half is equal to 20. Uh, in this case, that's what we're saying. What times 1 half is equal to 20? 20 divided by 0 0.5. So uh, our answer comes out to be uh, negative 20 divided by 0 0.5 comes out to be, and I'm going to put this down here, uh, negative 40. Okay, so our spring constant, uh, I'll go ahead and put this notation down here, k is equal to negative 40. Okay, so that finishes up part A. Now we're going to use this in part B in order to solve for how far the spring stretches. So uh, we're going to use the same exact equation, but now instead of k being the variable that we're looking for, now the variable that we're going to be looking for is x x right here. So we're given the mass in the second part of the problem. The mass 
in this case, uh, hang on, let me just erase some things so you don't get confused here. The mass in the second part of the problem is given by this three kilograms right here. This will be the mass. And um, the spring constant is given by, so this K will be actually given by this part of what we just solved right here. So I'll try to box this off a little bit. The second part of the problem, part B, all we do is we, we input these values into our equation. So again, K is negative 40 is equal to negative uh, the mass, which is three kilograms. So I'll put a three times 10. Again, normally gravity is 9.8, but I chose 10 for ease of calculation, uh, divided by uh, x. And x is what we're solving for. So to solve for this, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And I'm going to divide both sides by 40. OK, so if I multiply, if I multiply this by x, multiply this by x and divide both sides by negative 40 negative 40 okay now essentially what happens here is uh, for those of you who are still struggle with algebra uh, negative 40 cancels uh, and x cancels so what we're left with is the equation x is equal to negative 30 over negative 40 uh, which is equal to 0.75 meters okay and that's the answer for part B of the problem so we have two answers to this problem the spring constant was negative 40 and if we hang a two or if we hang a three kilogram mass on it instead of stretching 0.5 meters like it did in the first part of the problem now it stretches 0.75 meters and that concludes this problem.